hi everybody this is a very short video which should extract a lot of thoughts and ideas from you the viewers and from persons who have actually been in the hobby that I experienced within this field today I'm looking at the whole idea of why is it that you need to filter your ponds or tanks uh, is the filtration or the water change are both of them uh, what you call it now necessary which is more important than the other water change or filtration now the water that you keep your fish stuck in if kept still will encourage the buildup of gas in your tank or pan what the water does when it's been filtered and it's actually beaten on the surface of the, the tank or a pan is that it creates an avenue in which the gas that is built up or being built up within the tank to actually escape within the atmosphere so therefore the whole idea of agitating the surface of your water for your fish pond or tank is necessary so one looks at the whole idea of water change so since you're filtering why is it that you need water change i shared with you in several videos before that water change actually remove the waste of your fish and if you have plants it also remove the hydrogen it also remove the nitrites and nitrites and in some cases ammonia from your pond it reduces the amount and when you add new water to your pond or tank what it does it dilutes that in which is in existence it in your tank or pond you should remember that while in the wild the fish enjoy the movement of a river stream the water is not usually left stagnant however it's continuously running although i've shown you several video clips wagwater river wherein which the water actually looks still as if it's not moving but indeed it is moving it is just that it is not moving as how you actually observe several river streams moving right now fish keeping should fish keepers should actually mimic the natural environment in which fish lives in the fact that water actually moves on a regular basis within the rivers streams or wherever the waterway may exist is the reality that the fish home right now should be of such thus you agitating the water does several things one it will help to release the gas within the pond or tank two it provides oxygen for the fish that resides in the tank or pond and three the agitation of the water also help to and this might sound strange but it's true it helps the fish to develop its muscles when a fish is swimming against a current not too much current now but swimming against the current the fish builds up its muscles with strong muscles the fish is able to outrun its predators it's also for example for the for the females it's also able to stay away from the males as they pursue them thus the strengthening of the muscles is vital in fish care fish health and fish existence now if you do not provide the opportunity for the fish to exercise you'll find that your fish will end up being fatty have a lot of fat and eventually the fat will clog the organs and eventually of course 
the fish will die so here i looked at three reasons why it is important for agitation of the water within a fish tank or pond one it aerates the water two it helps to release gases that exist within the pond as a result of the the nitrate nitrite and ammonia being built up in the pond and three it helps the fish to develop muscles in, in with regards to the whole idea of water change water change is necessary depending on the stock of fish and plants in which you have if you have a small amount of fish with a large amount of plants the regular changing of water is not necessary because the plant would be able to feed on the nitrates nitrites that the beneficial bacteria converts from the ammonia right within your pond this is rally for fish keeping jamaica i hope that this little nits bit will be of good i hope that this nits bit i hope that this information was shared with you was beneficial thank you very much do have a good day rally here bye bye see you next time